Welcome to another Lumion live stream tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. And this tutorial is going to be part one of a series of tutorials explaining separate methods of how to import 3D context into our Lumion scenes. And what I mean by 3D context, um, I mainly mean mountains, hills, things that, we get, that would go into the background. Um, but I could also mean satellite imagery, maybe even buildings. <clears throat> but we're going to start right now with the most simple one and probably the most utilized one is just grabbing Google Earth Terrain from Ske SketchUp Pro. And this used to be a feature that was in the free version and they limited it to SketchUp Pro and now it's really only Pro and it has its uh, it has its cons. Uh, the quality is not amazing, but it's the most simple way, I would say, if you have access to SketchUp, of bringing some quick context in hills into the background of your scenes. And maybe not just the background. It could be trying to get some actual um, elevation data for near your site. But these, all these messes I'm going to show are, are not super accurate in that way. It's merely good for just getting some hills to really help sell your design. Obviously, if you're going to be designing a building in Utah and it's flat all around, it's just not gonna sell. You could build the terrains in, in Lumion using the terrain to sculpt their tools and everything, but it's it's still, there's still more accurate ways of, of getting these hills in there. I did a previous tutorial talking about bringing height maps into Lumion's terrain importer, but the scale was not super consistent and accurate. It is still a valid method, and I'm going to approach that again. But let's just start off right now with the simplest method here with SketchUp. So I apologize, my SketchUp has lots of plugins here, but I'm going to isolate the only one we really need to worry about right now, and it's this location one here. Now you can either access it here or down here it's, it's up to you but we're just gonna go ahead and find somewhere in the world where we want to grab or we want to put our site now I'm going to go we mentioned Utah plenty of mountains there let's just go right to Salt Lake City right here say we're gonna we're gonna build right right here. Now notice we can only grab this square, which is a good amount of area, but if we want to get mountains or anything, we're going to have to combine a lot of these squares. So let's let's just start right here, select region, import, and it's going to come in right here into Lumion. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get into SketchUp here. And in your layers here, we have a snapshot, which is flat with our satellite imagery on here. And we could just switch on here layer to terrain. And SketchUp, this comes in locked. If you ever need to edit it, you just have to unlock it. Uh, that's the only time I actually ever deal with locked models. So as you can see, we started to grab some hills here. But say if our building is going to go right here, we're going to need just a, at least a little bit more. There's no way we're going to grab that whole mountain range, but let's just go ahead and start tiling some extra, some extra pieces on here. To do that, we go to Add More Imagery, and this is where it gets kind of tricky. I'm going to get this as big as I can. Okay. So what you really need to do is grab this box and move this edge right to this edge. It's easier said than done. In this case, we're actually right parallel to the freeway, so that's a good landmark. And we do want to keep these kind of parallel. We're going to basically tile like a, essentially we could do like a, a three by three tile and we start it in the center. So I'm just going to try grabbing this. And an important thing is too, you actually want to have a, you're okay having a little bit of overlap because if you don't have anything, you're going to get a gap and it's going to look obvious. But if you have a little bit of overlap, it, it's not so bad. It's not the end of the world. So let's go ahead and start there. Select region. Make sure that's still good. 
It's going to give us a warning saying it's really far away. Just hit OK. And we're going to get a piece stacked on right here. Look at that. Not bad. It's not really the direction we want to go because that's flat. Let's keep building out here and see what we can get. Okay, so we started at our main site again here. That makes this a little bit easier. Let's try going up here. Using that hand tool, let's get a little bit of leeway here. Select, import. Where the goal is to not have a gap. If we have a gap, it ruins all of this. There we go. Starting to build it. And I know what you're thinking. This terrain looks pretty garbage, at least the, uh, the satellite imagery. I would not have this up close, but surprisingly enough, things like this in the distance actually start to look really good. So I'm just going to grab a couple more tiles and see what we can do with here. I'm just going to bring this into Lumion and see what we can do with this. Now I just kind of eyeballed that. Might be off. All right, so we got another piece. And let's just grab this corner piece right here. And let's just call that good for now. As you can see, you can keep going. It's kind of a hassle. You can keep going and grab more and more and, and get what you need in here. It's just, it's tedious. Um, and let me show you what happens if you, if you just overshoot it by a little bit. Let's see, let me go back again. I'm going to grab this bottom tile. I'm going to purposely miss by a little bit. If you don't get it exact touching, or at least that little bit of over gap, you get this awkward gap, and that kind of breaks everything here. I would pretty much just delete this and try again. And make sure you get that tiny bit of overlap, because in the end it doesn't seem to hurt anything. So I'm just gonna delete that, and let's just take this into Lumion, and see what we can kind of get with this. So I'm just gonna turn on Live Sync here, I have Lumion 9.5 open, and it is jumped in. Curious about that texture. Let's bring this up a little bit. Oops. Hmm. Okay, just a little hiccup. So everything has come into here. Now let's see if I can't just dump a building on here really quick. Let's see, maybe I can use one of Lumion's example projects here. Um, There we go. We'll do the Farmsworth house. Okay. So there's our scene right here. Oop, got a little too fast there. Okay. So, again, this terrain is this texture is is not very good I would not have it anywhere near the camera but there's something we could do here though to capture those mountains in the distance and the, the, the good that we get from that in the distance and with the, also hiding this really garbage stuff looking here let's go ahead and just drive this into the ground a little bit and we're gonna move our building, oops, great. Gonna move our building right here. 
now we have distance mountains. You know, obviously we can start adding some trees. Trees are a great buffer between high detail and low, low detail things. You know, there's, I'm just grabbing a bunch of different trees on here to stick on. Who knows? Okay, grab that. So, and you can continue to decorate this as you would. And we can get a shot right here. And we have Utah mountains in the background. We can do things like add some of that fog to just lower some of the detail there. You could even make it a little bit more bluish or orangish depending on the time of day. that fall off. You could get volumetric sunlight to look pretty good in here too. If we have the right sun angle. Sun would rise. You know, somewhere around here. Get that down. So, just playing around here. Some of the, the opportunities we have having physical 3D mountains. So that's the idea. Um, like I said, we could have grabbed some more, some more sections with some patience in SketchUp to get all sides or we just get what we have there. The other alternative, of course, is to render out here and replace with an image in the background. That's great, but it will never work for video. So if we have a video going right here, the advantage of actually having 3D terrain, however simple it is, is as we get moving, whatever camera angle we're doing, it's a lot more convincing than an image or whatever you stick in there. Especially if you get it, if, uh, something, a little trick I do too, Last little thing in here is if you add a little bit of depth of field, let's turn this to the background, get the focal distance going. Yeah, you get that little bit of blur in there. It forgives the lack of detail. and really adds some realism and context to your scenes. So that is method one, using SketchUp Pro's built-in earth grabber, or it's called location in imagery. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to cover several more um, methods of bringing in context, and one of them can be utilized with many of these, and that's grabbing better looking or higher resolution satellite imagery that we could place on top of even this and get much better results. That will be coming soon. So thank you for watching part one. Hope you guys with SketchUp can easily jump into this. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions. I'd love to answer it. And I have a much better SketchUp one coming out soon with a plugin. And uh, look forward to that one. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.